Maybe I can get him to do his James Bond fucking rap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, who's this? Are you on my side? Of course not. That would make everything way too fucking easy. Who are the white palms? You're new? I don't like new things. <laughs> Just give me the same as always. It's so much safer that way. Oh, you suck. Oh, everything about you fucking sucks. My heels aren't nearly enough for this guy. Man, I did not expect fucking magic like this. Ow. All right, fuck it. That deserved a fucking potion. Are you serious? He's actually good at what he does. I didn't- he killed me. I didn't really have a way out of that. I could have done the big chug, but I'm not doing the big chug here. I think maybe the game expects me to just keep chasing. I don't think I'm necessarily meant to kill him here. And that works for me, because that means I don't have to kill his fucking boy over there. Yes, 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 I fucking know. Get out of here. Oh, <laughs> they take one hit. That's all it would have fucking took from the beginning. Of course, of course, I'm just an idiot. Makes sense, makes sense. It's to be expected. Oh, that did not deserve a dodge right there. Oh, me like doing that tiny little bit of fire damage to him is all it fucking takes? So I think I know what the problem is. Or I think I know a way around it. If I manage to tag him like this... Oh, no! That's a lot of fireballs. That's a lot of fireballs that I can't escape for shit. Oh, no, 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 you're still alive. That was not part of the damn plan. Is he taking any damage? Oh, yeah, he was just about close enough. That makes my life so much easier. And I am bringing in the bone bitch. My beloved fucking savior. Oh, the wait, 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 no, 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 no. So I wonder, do I need this boy alive if I'm ever, ever, ever going to figure out anything about my former existence? Because it definitely seems that way, doesn't it? <laughs> he actually took it. Oh, because he was charging that up like a complete and utter fucking idiot. No, I recommend doing the exact opposite, my friend. I recommend running away instantly. That's kind of the only thing that's going to keep you even slightly alive. Also, an assassin that uses a big fucking greatsword like that? What are you talking about? Why do you exist? Doesn't make- Oh, wow, okay. I'm in a bad way. That's no mana, that's no health, that's no anything fucking decent. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take one of those. I still have that whistle. I don't even remember what that does, I just like having it there forever. Uh, mainly because it looks like a bit of a, I don't know, crippled dog dick. I don't know why that means I like it. It's just like, what the fuck are you doing here? It just feels weird. No way. There is no way. For one, where did Bone Bitch go? Come back now. Did they actually manage to kill him? I don't think I've ever seen Bone Bitch go down to regular damage. That's happened like maybe once before. Against something a lot bigger than like one or two random human enemies. This is not okay. Yeah, I'm gonna start using my actual attacks way fucking more. I think it might be the only thing that's gonna keep me alive for a little while. Can I save, please? He's miles away. Oh my god, what happened to this guy? Let's, uh, let's not question it. It's just a quirk of magic, obviously. Magic explains everything. Ugh. I'm sorry, that was, a, that was a pause I needed to do because sick reasons. Oh, fuck off. I, I can't even get to you. And it seems like, uh, going for him instead, it seems like, um, I don't know if you were going for me or him, that was really scary. It seems like arrows try to home in. Like, you can dodge away from them if you're really fast, but I, that one was definitely switching course midair, and I hate everything about that. And I can't do damage to him if he's in transit? How does that make sense? Fuck you. Fuck everything about you. Oh, I've still got barely any mana, and I haven't even really been in a fight for like the last 30 seconds. Come on! What do you want? I'm gonna st stand back and just heal myself for ages then, if you're completely broken. Am I just meant to go further? Because your shield is all the way over there. Oh, I guess you were just teasing me? You were just reminding me which way I was supposed to go? No, he's still broken. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it's not good. Ah, here he is. Back to his old murderous ways. Good for you, buddy. Did Bone Bitch die? No, Bone Bitch is just on the other side of the bridge and can never, ever, ever come back. Ah, well, that fucking sucks, doesn't it? Are you doing this forever? Why, yes. Yes, you are. I'll just... What a fucking enormous waste of my favorite attack. I absolutely despise when you do that, you monster. 
I don't have nearly enough to throw up my fucking shield either. Ah, oh, that one actually hit. Fuck. He can probably hit me once more with the- Oh, I forgot that that fucking grinds me down, please! Okay, I needed both the big Healy and the potion there. Or I was ultra fucked. All right, let's go ahead and say- I don't know what that did. I, I don't know what these are. What have I done? Oh, I left a mine on the ground? Yeah, that was not what I was going for, but thank you, I guess. Right, the shield's up, and I don't think it takes too long. I don't think it takes much- Oh, no, I'm dead. I don't think it takes much mana. Not the fucking mana thing, why are you doing this? Well, that was a complete waste, but whatever. I guess it makes this much fucking quicker. I'm charging right through you, I hope you know that. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I hate that you can't retract when it's at. <laughs> it's so sad. All it would take is, oh, maybe I don't want to call down my boy Zeus to pummel this dude into oblivion right now. Maybe I would prefer to live. That is the only little choice you have to fucking make. But no, but no, you have to try and be a badass no matter what. Right, we're gonna speed run this one. Come on, Bone Boy, you are the most important part of this entire equation. How are you still alive? Go away. <laughs> still hurt you? I don't understand how, but I'm definitely not complaining. Oh, fuck. There was no way out of that one, except for Bone Bitch. I think Bone Bitch actually took the brunt of that for me. Oh, I love you, buddy. Oh, and I can stun him out of doing his attack by being an absolute arsehole and dodging inside of him. I'll keep that in mind. I just wish I could do damage through your shield. I'm so mad that you get a shield like that and I get a shield like this. It's not horrible. It's just horrible. <laughs> is Bone Boy still around? Yes, he is. Okay, so charging directly into the oncoming fucking train of ice? Not the greatest idea I've ever had, clearly. Gotta keep that one in mind. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me! I gotta remember Bone Boy can heal me whenever the fuck he wants as well. So I'm probably just gonna let him do his thing? And hope to all hell? There we go, it's not hard to dodge that. I just suck at everything. That is what is very, very, very clear to me now. Bone Boy, go for anyone else. Literally, what are you doing? What What the fuck are you- What? Thank fuck for my shield, because I just could not target that guy. And let's heal up just a little bit, and then just stand around for about 13 years, waiting for that to recharge. No, I guess I will take one measly little potion, and hope that'll be enough to end this man's existence. I love that they all come out of the boxes, as if they need to surprise me. Like they would- oh my god. Where's Bone? Where's my Bone Boy? You stay the fuck back, arsehole. I'm dead again. <laughs> I keep coming so close. It's just that one attack. I don't know why he ever bothers with the fireballs, because they're, they're cool. I guess it's fire. You always got to think that fire is probably going to be a bit more awesome than ice. And then he said cooler than ice and realized how dumb that was, so I had to switch really quick. Um, But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's fucking terrible in comparison. That ice attack is one of the greatest things I've ever been up against. And I will see you guys real soon once I finally figure this dog shit out. Get the hell out of here. It's nice sometimes to jump cut, in the, jump cut in the middle of a fucking boss fight. And just remember what it's like to be good at video games. Because <laughs> then you just gain so much fucking skill back when you're not commentating. I absolutely adore commentating. But sometimes it turns me into such a pathetic little tiny man. You know what? Something about that reminds me of someone. Could it be you, you tiny little asshole? You're really gonna still use like a badass voice on me when this is happening to you? I just teed off on your ass and sent you through a window. That was amazing. Jump down. I mean, where are we? It doesn't really feel like I made him confess anything. It feels like I broke his bowels open. Fire to the Livrarium and hiring assassins is not an admission of guilt on Octian's part. I certainly don't know what is. It is clear that we not much of a confession, though, is it? Assume responsibility for his actions, overt as well as hidden. Even though you went against my explicit instruction, you were effective. You have my respect. That's what I like to hear. So Octian's finished. Survive the wounds earned What's this battle? flaccid dog dick so. doing dangling from your hat? I have ordered a moratorium on all of his current studies and projects. Or perhaps save this that lady is not fashion. Well of souls. That one will take some deliberation, considering its various ethical and societal ramifications. Regardless, gnome society is in your debt, and we always pay what is owed. 
you know, except when a load of peasants build the city for you and then you just throw them in a slum forever and forget about them. Yeah, yeah, I feel like you owe just a little bit more to them than that, but whatever. I need to find Ventrinio. Ventrinio Desolini. One name I never expected to be brought into this business. It seems he has escaped the gallows yet again. I believe your friend Scholar Hughes may be able to help. While you were here, my people found him salvaging the tomes Octien attempted to burn. Now, you must excuse ah. me. A Templar has fallen from power, and Odessa's political buzzards are circling. Just make me one. It's what literally every other faction in the entire game decides to do. I can't even loot him. He was one of the most powerful mages I think I've ever faced. He was actually fun to fight. I really enjoy boss fights with a bit of a gimmick and some actual fucking difficulty to them because they're so rare in this game. He reminded me of Anacartos. There you go, except actually good because Anacartos, he wasn't awful, but I mean, so he what? Let me try that again. <laughs> And I meant to say, he reminded me of Anacartos, except actually good. I meant Anacartos, except when I'm actually good. Because I actually still prefer the gimmick of the Anacartos fight. It was really, really fun. I liked the multiple stages and everything. Anacartos was terrifying. Um, this guy was a little bit more on the defensive. He could still do a lot of damage, and he was basically just run away, throw up a shield, throw more people at me. But at least it was a bit of a set piece. There was a lot going on, and he was actually a dude who gave me a challenge. Instead of, like, a big troll, I can stun lock forever and just slowly, or even quickly, just wail on until he fucking dies. Um, yeah, I like that. More of that, please, game. Although I imagine it will mostly only be contained in the, uh, in the main story, because even the last fight of the war swan was tiny. All that he would leave evidence behind. Such a waste. Some of those books he burned were centuries old, but luckily for us, I was able to salvage some from the flames. Why was he doing that? <laughs> what, what is wrong with this man? He didn't seem like much of a book burner, unless he was making sure that he was the only one that could make the Well of Souls happen or something? What you fail to remember, my friend, is that I'm pretty sure it still kind of exists in whatever form it... it, it the Tuatha wouldn't have broken the one in... Alistar Tower. They would have salvaged it and used it for their own, surely. And, I mean, you have been working on one, as well as this fucking assistant guy. A lot of shit is still going down, and I'm your assistant. If we could just wake up those memories in my own brain, for one, I'd probably hate myself forever and kill myself, but maybe I'd be able to give some useful information in the meantime. So, is there oh, anything of worth? Many prizes. Treatises on the nature of death, tables upon tables of autopsy analyses, but only one item of true value. Octien's diary. Based off of what I've read in these pages, Ventrinia has been working on an island off of Cluricon. Ah! So what are we waiting- That's behind to True. Arthur Lines. But this young lady says she has a way to fix that. I'm not sure how you know Aelin Cher, but she seems quite eager to speak with you. When you meet Dude, Ventrinia, this is a Garth's mission! His genius comes at the price of his sanity. He may want to kill you the second time around for good measure. If he hasn't yet gone completely mad. Ventrinio should be able to get you into Alabastra. Huh. So both main missions are sending me to completely different parts of the Winterfell lands as well. I like that. I like that a lot. What about your Unfortunately, work? Unfortunately, research on the Well of Souls will be put on hold. Octien organized it in secret, and the other Templars will want to learn all they can of it. But I do not think I'll be idle in the meantime. With Octien out of the way, there will be in need of a new Templar in Edessa. No way! Oh, we even got Hughes a promotion! Turning the tide. A ruse has baited Octien into betraying the necromantic nature of his experiments. Emphasis on romantic. You defeated Octien and exposed his scheming, thereby proving that unmaking the threads of fate is often as important as measuring and spinning them. And I got a 5% XP buff? I, I don't need this. I'm nearly max level and I'm barely even halfway through the main story, I imagine. Uh, let's ask a little more about Ventrinio. Ventrinio de Cellini. For a time we worked together under Templar Octien. He was a brilliant scholar, but a terrible person. 
and I was his assistant. So I know him incredibly well. So why was I f out fighting on the battlefield? Like the uh, opening cutscene suggests, unless that's not me? I can't figure it out. My brain hurts. Ventrinio's assistant. Journal shows that Ventrinio's assistant died during an important mission into the heart of Alabastra. I don't know how to say this, but the date of the assistant's death is shortly before you came back to life. I mean, I know. He already told me. But you know that proves nothing, right? Like I died in a battle where a lot of people died. The other guy already told me, unless that was only to fuck with my mind a little bit, but a blank slate idiot protagonist like this who doesn't even speak is probably not going to have a mental breakdown, you know? Considering I am the only one who controls all his thoughts. Except when he's being stupid. If he's being stupid, that's his fault. And obviously not mine. How dare you insinuate such heresy! Yes! Thanks, buddy. I, uh, I, I totally agree. Um... I guess we're leaving. <laughs> I guess we're just going straight to Odessa. What building was that? Yes. Oh, that's the forum. That's the reason the forum had any reason to exist. So I could smash it to tiny little fucking pieces. Glorious. All right, well, I can... Is there a reason to go check that out? It still wants me to deliver some fucking packages. No, thank you. Unless I just didn't get around to doing that and I fucked it up somehow. Let me take a look. I still never delivered the package. I went in, I searched around for ages, and somehow still fucked that up? Uh, how? Can I, I do? genuinely don't understand. Fuck it, I guess we can do it again now. Mm. Maybe the layout of this place is gonna change entirely now that that main mission is finally complete. Maybe uh, all the different people are gonna show up in different places. I have no idea, but hopefully... Hopefully I'm not completely brain dead. Hopefully I can actually figure this shit out because I'm starting to get very, very worried about my mental state. Oh, being, st being sick just totally breaks me, man. <laughs> it totally makes me feel so dumb. And rightfully so, I am an absolute idiot when I'm sick, but oh, oh I feel bad oh, about it. Cleus Noren. Who the fuck are you? I just never managed to make it to this place? I mean, you're literally dissecting a cock right in front of me, buddy. That is, that is quite, that is true fucking savagery. Did you have to slit its throat, by the way? Unless that's supposed to be like its, its little gizzard. I don't know what the fuck they're called. I know it's got a disgusting name. But it looks like you've just stabbed him real hard and he's leaking. And, you know, not to mention the actual emaciated long, 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 long dead corpse here. With fingers that completely shattered backwards. The amount of broken bones on this monstrosity is is through the fucking roof. And yeah, I'm just meant to have a nice casual conversation with you scum? Does anyone even know about this? Does anyone even know the upstairs existed? I mean, apparently I didn't know the upstairs existed. I totally missed it last time. Or maybe I came here and just ran away immediately and blocked it out because of all the trauma. Is that tiny penis motorbike man again? Oh, I hear him in the distance. I think he might be paying us another visit. Ah, oh, God, I love that boy. Well, Let's start you. with this guy, because I'm only delivering a package to you, and I feel like you're probably the one doing I've the cock slashing. Too long for these. There are some things you simply cannot do with ordinary blades. Beautiful. Yeah. Exquisite things. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Oh, no. Oh, I must free you, or at least put you out of your misery first. Oh, you poor little fucker. Odessa, I the guess. The city has no parallel, and it's only half built. I can't even conceive of all the contributions we will make to these lands in learning and policy. Have you ever even seen Wrath there in the distance? Because it shits on you. It shits on you so damn hard. I like Odessa. It's probably my second favorite looking city. I don't know why, I just think East is not ugly, it's just so generic, it looks like the epitome of everything Fae that you had seen up to that point, with just a lot more of it. Not even like turned up, like in any kind of fucking degree. It was just the same shit, just all put together. I'm like, oh, okay, well that's incredibly mundane, considering this is literally the home of the Summer Fae! Ah, uh, I'm just hoping they absolutely ace Melsenshire, and even more so, Alabastra. 
which is the dark equivalent of Issa. I want to see all these twisted vines and whatever the fuck the Winter Fae actually have to offer. Still haven't been over there, so I don't know what it looks like. But I'm hyped. I'm very hyped. It is Basilica. where the greatest minds of the gnomes, the scholars, can determine the underlying rules and laws of existence. From here, our power is born. Oh, so much power. Such raw fucking muscle. My colleagues are always at the forefront of research. I must stay at my best to keep up. And what exactly does that mean? What is your research? What are you doing? What do you possibly need to know about cock that I badly? I got my start doing vivisections in the laboratories. I showed enough knowledge of humoral balance and physiology that I was asked to join the Basilica. We don't even get to question Very it. Well. This dude is clearly committing, like, the utmost fucking war crimes imaginable. And we don't even get to... Okay. Sure, whatever. I guess I'm not well, complaining. Now, who the hell are I you? I sent Ordern to recruit subjects, I didn't think I'd find one quite as tall as yourself. Ah! But has done well. I'm joining In the fact, Basilica, I huh? See you make the perfect test case for my newest work. No, no, she's just stealing my jizz. Oh, it's a language test. I remember. Scholars. Not all the scholars are dedicated to academia. A language Some, test like for a silent protagonist. Put on I'll ace it. Between projects. It's not always ideal. What are you talking about? A Lily Aaron caught bureaucratic duties between products. Projects. It's not always ideal. Can you elaborate at all? I know I'm an outsider at everything, but I wish to learn. Ah, the Basilica, Basilica is Nostra. funding more remote experiments than ever before. Why would they do so much work externally? Makes it difficult to keep track of it all. Because maybe everyone else is, like, a lot smarter than you. You idiot. Oh, you've got another little dog dick as well. Except this one's purple. This one got suffocated. Huh. <sighs> Gross. Scholar, Claire, so what are they supposed to be? Like, obviously it's not dog dick, as much as we all wish or really wish it wasn't. Um... So what is that supposed to be? I don't know why I'm focusing on this so much, it's just, why add that in? If it's not supposed to mean something, it's such a weird design choice. But then again, I guess a man had a fucking circumcised pajazzle on his, um, on his badge for fucking ages, and there were so many people in Dalentarth, all with the same circumcised wang, plastered all over their fucking uniforms. I don't even know what it meant. I still don't know what uniform that represented, and I never want to know. Claire I've specialized in the study of languages and discourse. Of course, the Basilica sees no end of political applications for my research, so I'm happy to be well-funded. This is a language In test, so many right? Words, yes, I'm developing a portion vital That was four to words, diplomacy. lady. One that will let the user understand foreign tongues. But it requires calibration. Ah, cool. Currently, the portion grants universal understanding, but it will not properly permit speech. I will administer a new formula. The spells in my lab shall localize the effects, so I can ask a few questions of you in various tongues. I love this! This is so cool! Now, I don't actually know what language is considered the common tongue here. You would assume it's human. I don't know why, just because that's what uh, every single fucking um, RPG or fantasy world tends to do. It's normally the, the human tongue is sort of the common tongue. Or I guess humans, like, have different regions as well, though. I guess we're about to find out, or at least I hope so. Can we begin? Yes. Now, I will just address <coughs> the potion and we can begin. Yes. Oh, okay, it's having some very adverse side effects, if lady. Can, can we just do the experiment? Saying, please, thank please you. Please tell me my name. What have you done to me? Biff! <laughs> Nope, you've made me Polish, lady. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm gonna go with the one with the question mark. Very well. Claire does not I seem to understand. Question. Tell me, where can I find the Court of Summer? Cads, they sit a foe. 
sends rim nail for nay shes shed gent ah uh, uh, well, I'm looking for Dalen's no I'm not I'm looking for the plains of Arathel does any of this come anywhere close to Arathel I don't think so I quite like for nay as a shed gent <laughs> That sounds amazing. Wish I was a shed gent. You've covered much more ground than my other subjects. Now I am not quite as versed in the Wait, did I get it right? As I really need to be for this. I think I, I did. To ask my final question, anyways. There is an army of Fae named the Tuatha. Tell me, where are they from? Boom, Frio. Zgai. A boom, good. Um. Well, they're from Alabastra. None of this it seems to come anywhere close to Alabastra. So I'm gonna go with. Well, that was less successful than I would have liked, but the data will be useful to me nonetheless. Was there I a way to figure that out? Help with this. Take these potions as a reward, with my thanks. Yes. I'm thinking maybe there were right answers. I think maybe there were ways to figure that out, but let me have a look. A silver tongue. Amala. Because I clearly got the second one right, but I'm not entirely sure why or how or what the hell's going on. Um. What? Oh, it's all in a code. So the first one was a reverse cipher, which means A is Z and Z is A, for example. It's like just like all flipped. The alphabet is entirely flipped. Um. Oh! For Ne is a shed, gent, is an anagram for in the gardens of Issa. And then, um, the last one, it was Zgoy. I was actually right. And that's a reverse cipher plus an anagram of alabastra which is fucking mean but I, I i don't think i need to get them all right because well, I, I, I mean that it, it clearly needs more work i mean that's not really gonna work on the most common peasants is it then again i don't think peasants are going to like diplomacy summits but you know <laughs> i don't think even any of these gnomes are gonna understand it yeah. if i didn't understand it i mean they're tiny boys I'm a relatively large boy in comparison to them, which means my brain is like 400 times bigger. So, um, you know, I'm just already guaranteed to be smarter than their smartest of scholars. Order and right, I spoke to you, Claras Vian Praetorian Arancourt. We never spoke to Arancourt. I feel like I came here and then just, oh, you know why? Wait, where am I? I went the complete wrong fucking way, good for me. Um, yeah, but you know why? I think this is where I came to yes. speak to... What's his name? The, the dude we just killed, Octian, there we go. And I guess he, he and his men were just sort of blocking my path. I could be wrong about that because I have literally no memory beyond like the last three seconds for some reason when I'm this sick. But for now, well, for now, that's what I'm gonna believe. You're Vian. How did I do that? How did I come to exactly the same place? Let's, right, we're crossing this way, and I'm gonna fucking find you, because this is driving me insane. Right, so you can't be on this top level. There is no one on this top level worth talking to, because there are literally no rooms. So you've got to be down here somewhere. You've got to be this one, right? How, no, okay. For once, I'm finally on the other side. I figured it out. And I don't think I've ever spoken to you. I feel like if, like if I ever came in this room, I probably would have smashed these locks to tiny little pieces, right? And they are thoroughly smashed, if you ask me. Yes, well, I have hey. many, many matters at hand that I can busy myself with in lieu of speaking to a guest of Sandstone Villa, of all people. And yet you have... You were looking at a wall. What is it? The entire time I've been here, you have just been staring at that wall. And I have been in this building for many, many, many moons now. So, uh, you can shut the fuck up, and we can have a nice fucking civil conversation, arsehole, Adessa. I found this crater brimming with strange potential. In studying the area, <laughs> more equipment than people came until a city was born. She said that in such a weird way, I love it. 
Ah, uh, well, tell me more about Basilica it is Gnostra. It's the product of centuries of learning. Here we distill the experiences of our race into axioms, knowledge that future generations may live by. This voice is really weird as well. Because it's sort of like some weird ass combination of Welsh, Scottish, and Irish all at the same time, with a little bit of Russian thrown into the mix. What what's that about? You can hear a little bit of Soviet Russia, like <laughs> just coming out at the worst fucking times. I, I, it's an abomination. Get your fucking throat checked out, lady. You clearly need it. There is a blockage. Well, my Scholar, Aaron Court. <laughs> I said it like that, but whatever. Race. Somehow I ended up being a basilical liaison to the Domus concerning Faye and Alfar. Well, I I'm an Alpha, yet you still seem to fucking despise me. I guess maybe she learned too much about us and realized how disgusting I am. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. <sighs> Alright.